the like interstate or on like maybe we can get chewing gum. You you want to stick the camera to the dashboard with chewing gum? Why not? <gasps> F it. The Millennium Falcon has arrived. Coffee. <laughs> You know, before Star Wars Episode Eight filmed here, this was otherwise just like a local village. People only came here who lived here. Um, it's a really a journey to get out here, you know? It's, it's, it's a drive. It's, it's a little bit of a drive, but of course, if you die hard, go big or go home. <laughs> um, we got matching shirts. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Ta-da. another galaxy earlier today. Far, far away. Far, far away. We went to a galactic shoreline. Our yeah. method of transportation to where we are currently was not, not as efficient. As efficient as the Millennium Falcon, but more along the lines of an eco-friendly Astra. <laughs> <laughs> we've been in the car for, I don't, 10? We've been plus hours. 10 plus hours. Um, and then Krista got sick. I'm still sick. She's still sick. Fevers, chills, all that. But I'm here. She's here. I'm here to party. Galactic style. That's um, really convincing. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we are in another galaxy. That's Skellig Michael, which we'll go to tomorrow. So this Make is kind of a big thing. It's not just a Star Wars <laughs> fangirl thing. It's actually like a really cool it's a UNESCO World Her Heritage Site. Um, so it's going to be really fantastic because it literally is like the edge of the earth. Like you need to be taken out there by a boat. And <coughs> we're hoping that the weather is in our favor tomorrow because if it's not, we're probably not going to get to get on the island. Yeah. Um, so but we'll see what happens. I'm sick. We made it here and still on the same day, by the way. Thank you. All the people that looked at us like we were crazy and there was no way we could do this in one day. We did it in one we day. Did it. So, did it. success. I think mostly because it was so late that nobody was on the road and I was driving in the middle, but. Yeah, uh, Krista <laughs> took over driving for me at one point because she realized that I was way too scared she of the was narrow like driving roads. Was <laughs> <laughs> driving on the wrong side of the road 
and then like the lanes being so narrow and it being like dark and the edge of cliffs and it's scary and Krista just just I don't know it was like a race over. car driver <laughs> on like the side of a mountain and I had some of the most terrifying moments of my life tonight but we made it here we made it and I didn't hit the bunny rabbit she didn't hit the bunny rabbit or the dog or the dog or any sheep Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. On that note, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
this this other thing kind of takes over of of the history of the rock. Yeah. And it's, it is so special. It is very exciting. The amount of fans that come and they're all dressed up and they're mm -hmm. ready to, they're all dressed up, they want to take their photographs over here near this and they want to know where Mark Hamill, the, the night of the rap night, the, the rap night here, the two rap nights, and my kids were, were dancing here, you know, and playing music and Mark Hamill was up here and Daisy Ridley was here and they were, they, all the crew were here, everybody, uh, and at this stage now I still didn't know any, I didn't know who Mark Hamill was. <laughs> right, and, <laughs> and I was I was walking here, and we was very busy. And then I looked, and I saw this fella inside the bar filling in a pint. And I said, "Lads, who's this inside the bar filling a pint?" You know, in a busy night, and and one of the barmen says to me, oh, "That's Mark Hamill. That's the he's the, he's the actor in the Star Wars." You know, and he said, "Let him at it." You know, <laughs> so because he was around, he was here with his wife and his two children. I'm going to try out the Guinness, my Mark Hamill pulls this. You hold your glass like this, okay? You want to do it first? Yes. And you just pull it ahead until you pump the Guinness. We got shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and another hotty toddy. Chris is dying. I hope I don't get the flu, which is what I think Krista has. But I'm here. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> right now she is, but tomorrow she may not be. Like coming here and staying and doing the the um, pint experience downstairs, it's such a cool, intimate, like, intimate experience. It's very personal. You'll be Irish just, when you leave. Yeah. There's no be. doubt. <laughs> You're like so part Irish fun. just by coming here. I mean, I have most of Ireland on my shoe. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, um, we did find out, though, some good information in the event that you visit and you're not able to go to the Skillig due to weather. Like there us today. Yeah. Like, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We're coming back. <laughs> there's, a, um, there's a point which you can go to. It's like 10 minutes from here that you can drive to and you can see the Skillig from that point. So. It and then also. Good weather. Right in front of this whole property is where the production kind of ground zero was. Mm -hmm. So just like being here also, um, and you can see in the video that they produced where they're loading everything into the boats and everything like that. So that's really cool. And then upstairs right here um, was the pre-production like landing zone, the staging area. So Exactly. And you had the wrap parties that took place downstairs and Mark yep. Hamill pouring pints of Guinness yep. and it's just cool. It's cool to feel a part of it. Yeah, they ate here every night. The crew, everybody. It's really JJ good food. Abrams, you know, Mark Hamill, Mark yeah. Hamill's family. I think that there's some stuff that they filmed um, for episode eight when they were here filming for episode seven. So we'll see if our theory yeah. holds true. That's our theory because it's such a tumultuous excursion yeah, to get all that equipment out there. For that one scene and six weeks of being here six weeks one I, scene yeah it seems like they probably did more there something doesn't add up something Lucy. yeah <laughs> the crew just took a really long vacation here <laughs> i think there's gonna be more <laughs> yeah so that's exciting to think about but force is coming back with us bringing it back mm -hmm. i'm gonna go finish this galactic yeah. hotty toddy do it peace out guys go to bed <laughs> night night Last night in Ireland, um, I've now got what Krista's got. It feels like death. It's the plague. <laughs> I feel like this is the last report from the Event Horizon.
our temperatures were just not right. Opposite direct. Totally <laughs> opposites while we were getting sick. Yeah. And um, I was dying of heat while she was freezing. And so in order to make that work, I had to have the window cracked open. She had to have a Therma, re a therma care. Um, I still got it on my care. Heat pack okay. thing plugged in to see it. Yeah. But it was only supposed to stay on for eight hours, and it's been on for twelve now. Mm -hmm. It still feels warm. Wow. It it's kind of starting to feel like I may have a rash, but <laughs> I'm taking it off now. I'm just gonna. I, don't do it that way. That's gonna. Our island trip was awesome. Look at that. That looks like <laughs> it's not a bra. <laughs> it's not a bra. Not panties. It's a thermacare. Thermacare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> exactly. It's, Sexy if I've ever seen it. <laughs> really miserable. We hope you've enjoyed our Ireland trip. I really enjoyed it, despite the fact that we got the flu. And um, we did get the flu, but we were in a galaxy far away. And if you're gonna get the flu, it's the best place to you get might it. Might as well be in a galactic universe. Yeah. That was a, I don't know. Makes sense, but.